Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing this Beetlejuice inspired makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So let's just get started. So I'm priming my eyes as always. I think it's foundation that I primed with. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking Silk Cream into the crease as always. This is the perfect shade for a transition shade. So I always use it. So I'm just blending that out just so I have a base for the purple. Next I'm going in with the NYX Ultimate Bright Palette and I'm taking this light purple and I'm buffing that into the crease. So I'm taking my time with this shade because it's purple. I feel like purple is really hard to blend out. Um, so I'm taking my time blending this shade out because we're just going to keep building purple on. So Next I'm going into the Morphe 35B palette and so I'm just using this top purple shade. It's the lightest purple in the Morphe 35B palette and I'm buffing this straight into the crease, not above. And I'm dragging that down onto the lid as well. And then every now and then, I'm just going in with the clean brush just to blend out the edges to make sure nothing is harsh. Then I'm going in with the same colors and I'm just going under my eye. I want to blow out this, this eyeshadow because Beetlejuice is like not precise at all. Then I'm going in with the dark purple shade from the NYX palette and I'm using that in the outer corners just to create some depth. Now switching back over to the 35B palette, I'm taking these two dark purple shades right under the light one and I'm buffing that in the outer corner and in the crease and I'm blowing out this eyeshadow as much as I can. Now I'm just packing that color onto the lid really heavily with a shader brush and then quickly blending out the edges just so there's no harsh lines again. Next, I am going in with the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini, and I'm going in with the shade Makeda, and I wet my brush, and then I'm just applying this just on the lid. Next, going in with the NYX White Eyeliner. This was honestly the hardest part of the look. Just because the NYX White Eyeliner is kind of crackly, so it's really hard to build it up. Um, it probably doesn't help that mine's really old either, so... So then, quickly off camera, I just do the other one because I felt like this part was going to take forever. And then I'm going in with the black eyeliner. This is from Sephora Collection. And I'm just making black stripes in the eyeliner. And then I'm going ahead and I'm doing my mascara. And then I add one lash just to see how it's going to look. I don't know. I'm everywhere with creative, creative looks to be honest. So bear with me. Off camera, I just finished the other one and applied my lashes. And then going in with the Alchemist Mini. This is the Aquamarine shade. Sorry, I butchered that terribly. And then ignore this part because I just wanted to put this in here. Just so if you're doing Halloween looks, trust me, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, but this part I do save, this green part, so um, I'm just going in with some green shadow from the Morphe 35B palette. And Beetlejuice has like moss on him, so I just wanted to mimic that with the green shadow. So it doesn't really matter where you put the moss or the green shadow. Um, I put some by my lip. 
on my forehead, some on my chin, on my chest, which I erase later because I do something cool down there. Um, under my nose, just different areas. It honestly doesn't matter. So like I said, Halloween looks, at least for me, are a lot of trial and error. So I didn't really like um, the placement of the snake, so I just covered it up with some foundation. And I redid the little snake, and then I hated it again. So I redid it for the third time. But before that, I thought the moss looked kind of flat, so I'm taking the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm just using the green color and I'm dotting on with the end of my brush and then I'm just patting it out so it kind of blends. So I'm kind of upset, honestly, here and I'm just thinking of what I'm going to do. So while I had the camera off, I drew this white... Um, line you know the sandworm of Beetlejuice I'll insert a picture right here and then I'm just going in with some black face paint oh both of these face paints are from Mayron so I go in with white and then a black and I'm just making like little like lines because the snake is striped and then I'm going back over the white with the white face paint Using the Mayron black face paint, I'm just doing a black lip and then I wanted to do another like snake, I don't know, like the end of it, something. I just wanted to do another one. So I started out with this line and then I erased the top and then I started doing the stripes again. I'm so sorry that I'm out of frame, but I'm doing the same thing. So I just draw the white line and then I go back in with the black and I go on top of it and I make little segments of black And then at the end, I just make sure to go over everything again after the paint has dried. So this is water activated paint. So just go over it one more time just so it's super opaque. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and subscribe if you weren't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.